from WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News at Noon. I'm Kara Sundland. We are following breaking news right now in Meriden. Police have spent two hours looking for a man they say crashed his car, took off, and then ditched the car in Meriden. This search reportedly for City Hall and other buildings into lockdown. It all started about 8 this morning. We want to check in right now with Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. He is live with where police have made an arrest. Dylan. Well, Kara, good afternoon. Look, we actually just spoke to a woman who lives in this blue house who says the man police arrested was hiding in their garage in the back. You see that gray garage looks like a shed. We're told from the woman who lives here that police grabbed him out of this garage and arrested him, put him into police custody. We know police were here for a couple of hours with canines looking for this man. We were here just as police made the arrest. Let's show you that video right now and tell you how all of this happened. Now, police say at around 8 o'clock in the morning, a man had crashed his car on I-691 in Meriden and took off. A few minutes later, an officer in the city noticed the car with a ton of damage. Police realized that car might be connected to the earlier crash. But by the time police tracked down the car, the driver had ditched the car and ran away. Police spent the next couple of hours looking for the man using canines. Eventually, they found him, arrested him, and of course, the woman telling us they found him in her own garage. We spoke to another woman who lives nearby about this crazy situation. Well, I did see a lot of activity with police and the dogs, and it was really scary. They were all around my house. And as Kara said, City Hall was on lockdown for more than an hour. We're told uh, multiple other buildings in the city were also on lockdown, but we're told from the city that everything is back to normal in those buildings. Police haven't released the man's name or why he took all from I-691, but we expect police to make an updated announcement very soon. We're live in Meriden, Dylan Fear in Channel 3, Eyewitness News.